Okay, so here we go. Here is that OnePlus 8, not the 8 Pro, but the OnePlus 8. Let's do a quick unboxing of this and see what comes out of the box. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content. It's the red button down below because I'm going to be doing a lot of videos on this OnePlus 8 Pro. So let's get started. Box is out. You'll have your traditional uh, OnePlus stuff over here. And here is the phone itself. Okay, I'll put it over here. Underneath it, we have our traditional USB-A to USB-C cable. Underneath this, we have, it says right here, warp charge. So I'm going to take this out. We're going to get our warp charge 30. So apparently this one is a little bit faster than the previous version found on the other OnePlus devices. I'll be sure to test that out. So put that over here. Underneath it, nothing else. So that's pretty much what comes out of the box. And let's see what's coming through here. Now, a couple of things that have changed. There is no case that comes with the OnePlus Pro. Um, similar to my OnePlus 7 Pro, kind of found on the OnePlus 7 Pro. This used to be a free case that came out of the box for the OnePlus series. Um, I guess they changed that up. They maybe wanted to save that money or reinvest it into the OnePlus 8. So no case coming out of the box, kind of disappointed with that. But let's see what's inside over here. These are just gonna be your, your manuals. So it says never settle. And then this one might be the French one. So these are basically OnePlus stickers that OnePlus is using kind of to market. It's very similar to what Apple does with those Apple stickers. So you can use these now to place on your computer, car, whatever it is, and utilize these. And um, I guess it's just a great promotion for OnePlus as it kind of uh, captures the public's attention. And then what we're gonna have over here is gonna be the letter from the CEO. So you guys can pause and read this and while you're at it make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the review for this video and make sure you hit that like button and what i'm going to be doing is um, for those who are still interested in this phone is i'll be leaving my personalized oneplus link um, in the comment section down below for you guys to check out and use that to purchase your phone you'll save a little bit of money and you'll be able to get an accessory out of it as well so let's take out the oneplus eight of this and i got that really special so this is that uh, one plus eight interstellar glow color so you can see it's um it's pretty crazy it's pretty cool with the way it changes the color okay up here you have a pre-installed uh you can see over here that this is a pre-installed um, screen protector similar to the one plus seven pro so let me quickly compare it to my one plus seven pro here's the one plus seven pro here is the OnePlus 8. So very identical to the last year's OnePlus 7 Pro. A little bit skinnier almost. Just a tiny bit skinnier, but feels like a great phone. Thinner as well from my OnePlus 7 Pro. It's definitely lighter than my OnePlus 7 Pro. So I'll put it up here. And let me just quickly turn this on. So that way you guys know how it turns on. Is it the same as the OnePlus 7 Pro? So this is the first time it's going to turn out. It's going to be a little bit slower. Overall, this feels like a very nice device. It's very light. That's something that I kind of have to point out. And here we go. So the high there, and I'll set this up later on. But this is what pretty much comes out of the box with the OnePlus 8. So to finalize what comes out of the box with the OnePlus 8, you get your 30T dash charger. You get your, your USB-A to USB-C charging cable. You get your manuals as well as the stickers and then finally the oneplus 8 there is no case coming out of the box really disappointed with that one um, but let's see how much this phone has improved from the oneplus 7 so this phone is actually that 12 gigabyte version model 256 gigabyte storage so it's the same exact storage as the oneplus 7 pro so really excited to test this out 
if you guys haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be doing a lot of videos on this phone compared to the OnePlus 7 Pro. So because the version that I have over here is the exact same one. So 12 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage. On the left, you have Snapdragon 855. On the right, you have Snapdragon 865. So let's see how much it's improved from the last year and see if it's even worth for you to upgrade. Either way, make sure you like the video and comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this color right here. Um, do you think this color is pretty cool or is it kind of weird? Let me know. I personally like it. And this phone does feel a lot lighter than the OnePlus 7 Pro that I just picked up. I don't know. I mean, this phone looks really cool. I really like this color. But uh, I really wanted to buy the OnePlus 8 Pro and it was sold out right when I logged in. So thank you very much for coming on the channel, watching this video liking it, commenting it, and make sure if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.